mahali ulipo ili uweze kuungana nasi tunapomwabudu Bwana tunapomsifu tunapolinua jina lake na pia tunaposikiza neno la Bwana siku ya leo tunaamini ya kwamba Bwana atakubariki ukiwa nyumbani na mahali ulipo unaposhirikiana nasi hata tunapomwabudu katika jina la Yesu Kristo kwa sababu Bwana yuko pamoja nawe mahali ulipo na ndio maana tunakukaribisha tunapomwabudu katika ibada ya siku ya leo Bwana wabariki sana Oh 
uweze kutandaza juu ya maisha yetu juu ya nafsi zetu juu ya hali zetu kwako huo unaovunja nira zote utukufu huo bana ambao unayeyusha milima utukufu huo wako mfalme wa bingu ambao unafukuza giza zote na unatufanya tusimame dhabiti na imara ndani yako mtakatifu tunakushukuru na tunakuenzi hata kwa sababu ya mtazamaji wetu aliyeungana nasi ili akalipokea neno la Mungu kutoka nyumbani bana wacha neema yako ikafikie kila mmoja na utukufu wako ukashuke wanapopokea neno lako na pia wanapopokea neema itakayotoka kwa kinywa cha mtumishi wako kupitia huduma ya Roho Mtakatifu tunakushukuru na tunakuabudu katika jina la Yesu tuseme amen mara tena tunashukuru watazamaji wetu Uh, tunajua hakika mmekuwa mkiandamana nasi katika ibada zetu kila Jumapili na hii ni Jumapili nyingine ambayo Mungu ametubariki na ameturehemu ili tukaweze kumletea sadaka za sifa na shukrani. Ile inasema ya kwamba uh, tuingie kwenye nyua zake na sifa tukaende mbele zake na shukrani kwa sababu ametutendea mema. Kwa hivyo Ningependa leo hii mara tena tuweze kushirikiana na Mungu katika kazi hii na huduma hii kwa namna ya kumletea ibada za sadaka zetu na matoleo na ningeomba ya kwamba uchukue nafasi yako nambari ya Paybill unaiona hapo chini ya simu yako ama chombo chochote ambacho unatumia kututazama ukaweze kuitumia ukaweze kutuma sadaka yako uweze kutuma matoleo yako na Mungu atakubariki hapo kwa account number unaweza andika tithe ama offering ama any other form of giving that you want to bless the Lord with this day in the mighty name of Jesus as we continue to worship God with another worship song before we receive the servant of God to hear the word of God I would want to give you this, this opportunity so that you can give and the Lord God will bless you later on we shall invite the servant of god as we pray with you because of your giving and because of the offering that you'll have given in the name of jesus thank you god bless you let the weight of your glory let the weight of your glory pamoja tunapo shukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya matoleo yako kisha tunapopokea mtumishi wa Mungu ili akaweze kutuletea neno la Mungu 
baba wa mbinguni asante kwa sababu wewe ni mweza na wewe ni Mungu usiyeshindwa watu wako wameinuka katika imani wakiwa manyumbani mwao wameweza kuwa na imani ya kushiriki nawe katika kazi hii kwa namna ya kutoa tunaomba ukabariki kila ambacho kimetolewa kwa utukufu wa jina lako bwana asante kwa sababu utawanyoshea njia zao nuru yako itawaangazia njiani utukufu wako utakuwa juu yao bwana utawapanulia mipaka na watokapo na warudipo mfalme wataweza kupata baraka zako zidi kuwapa pumziko la moyo amani ya nafsi katika jina la Yesu hata tunapompokea mtumishi wako asubuhi hii tunamkabidhi kwako mfalme tunatangaza ya kwamba neno lako litakuwa kama nyundo itakayopashua kila mwamba na kila ngome iliyosimama kinyume na watu wako kupitia neno lako ambalo ni upanga wa roho mfalme siku ya leo watu wako watapokea nguvu mpya watainuliwa wataweza kutiwa moyo watapata uponyaji katika jina la Yesu asante ni kwa sababu we ni mwaminifu tilia mtumishi wako mafuta ya roho mtakatifu hata anapokuja tunampokea kama aliyetumwa na wewe kama nabii wako na tunatangaza ya kwamba upako wako umeshuka juu yake na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na hata kushukuru Nisaidie nyumbani pia tumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu Bishop aweze kutuletea neno asubuhi ya leo na Mungu atawabariki. Amen. God bless you so much uh, Baba Wais. Mungu akubariki sana Baba Wais. Again God bless you Simon. God bless you Pastor. God bless you Faith and Elizabeth. Mungu akubariki mara tena mchungaji Faith, Elizabeth na pia Simon. As you continue to lead us in worship, mnapoendelea kutuongoza katika kuabudu. We thank God because of the gift of worship and the voices that he has given you. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kipawa cha kuabudu na sauti ambazo amewatunukia. May God continue to bless those gifts. Mungu akazidi kubariki eh, talanta hizo. We appreciate those gifts. Tunafurahia uh, karama hizo. This is the gift that you don't appreciate you lose it. Na kipawa ambacho haukifurahii unakipoteza. Ah uh, again God bless you so much for tuning in. Na Mungu awabariki mara tena kwa sababu ya kuungana nasi tena. May God continue to bless you and bless you abundantly. Na Mungu azidi kuwabariki na kuwazidishia baraka. May God continue to keep you. Mungu azidi kuwahifadhi. May God continue to see you through. Mungu azidi kuwaonekania. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. This is a good Sunday. Jumapili njema. A day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice in it. Ni siku ambayo Bwana ameifanya tukaweze kuifurahia. This is a day full of the presence of God. Ni siku iliyojawa uwepo wa Mungu. It's a day full of the glory of God. Siku iliyojawa utukufu wa Mungu. This is the day of the Lord. Hii ndio siku ya Bwana. And I want we go direct to the word of God. Ningependa twende moja kwa moja hadi neno la Mungu. I tell you it's good to be in love with the word of God. Na niwaambieni ni vyema kuwa na upendo wa neno la Mungu. The topic of uh, or the title of my sermon this morning kichwa cha ujumbe wangu asubuhi ya leo is God's commitment to protect you. Ni jitihada za Mungu na kujitolea kwake kukulinda God's commitment to protect you Vile Mungu amejitolea kukulinda wewe God's commitment to protect you Kujitoa kwake Mungu katika kukulinda Let's open our Bibles in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and first 12 Tufungue Biblia zetu katika kumbukumbu la Torati 33 aya ya 12 Deuteronomy 33 first 12 Kumbukumbu la Torati 33 aya 12 The Bible says he said about Benjamin The Lord's beloved lest securely on him he shield him all day long and he lest on his shoulders Akamnena Benjamini mpenzi wa Bwana atakaa salama kwake Yuamfunika mchana kutwa naye hukaa katika kati ya mabega yake NIV translation put it like this. Nayo tafsiri ya NIV inasema hivi. About Benjamin he said. Kuhusu 
Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him. And I want you to underline that. This one is very, very, very powerful. Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him. For he shields him all day long. And the one the Lord loves lest between his shoulders. Let me say this. Those who touch us touch God. And those who touch God are touched back by him. And let me show you in the scripture in Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 4. Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 4. The, the Bible says, now this is what the Lord says. The one who created you, Jacob, and the one who formed you, Israel, yeah, do yeah, not yeah. fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Ye ye aliye kuumba, ye ye aliye kuhukuru, e ya kobo, e Israel ya sema hivi. Usiogope mana nime kukomboa, nime kuita kwa jinalako wewe uwangu. But now, this is what the Lord says, He who created you, O Jacob. He who formed you, Israel. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I want to repeat this again and again. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The frames will not set you abreast. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Sheba in your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give men in exchange for you and people in exchange for your life. Something to note here in this portion of the scripture. God is internally committed to preserve you. God has committed to protect you. God has committed to defend you. I tell you, God has committed to secure you. To give you security. No matter what. God has committed himself. Mungu amejitolea mwenyewe. In this, you know, God, God, God is, he has committed himself. Mungu amejitolea mwenyewe. And let me give you uh, uh, several examples in the word of God. Na wacha ni wapatieni mifano kadha katika nyo mwabu. About God's commitment to your safety. Kuhusu mungu kujitolea ili ukawe salama. About God's commitment to your protection. Kuhusu mungu kujitolea ili ukawe umelindwa. About God's commitment to keep you. 
Because the Bible says, I will keep you. Let's open our Bibles in Leviticus 26 and verse 6. Mamba ya walawi sita. The first example, I will give you four or five examples. As you continue praying with these examples, the Bible says, I will give peace to the Lord, and you will lie down with nothing to frighten you. I will remove dangerous animals from the Lord. And no sword will pass through your lord. Nami nitawakomesha wanyama wabaya katika nchi yenu wala hautapita upanga katika nchi yenu. I will grant peace in the lord. Nitawapatiana amani katika nchi. I pray. Naomba. That may God grant peace. Ya kwamba Mungu apeane amani. May God manifest his healing. Mungu aonyeshe upon this wake. nation in Jesus name. Juu ya taifa hili katika jina la Yesu. May he grant peace. Na apeane amani. May he clothe us with his healing. Na tufunike na upon our communities wake. and upon our environments in Jesus name. Juu ya jumuiya zetu na mazingira yetu kwa jina la Yesu. In your family Yesu. wherever you are. May, he, may God surround you with his peace. May God give you peace of mind. May God give you peace of heart. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus 26 and verse 6, I will grant peace in the Lord. And you will die, you will lie down and no one will make you afraid. This is a promise of God. No situation. No powers of darkness. No sorcery. No, no wickedness. No power of hell. No strongholds of the enemy. No oppression of sickness and disease. That has any legal right. To make us treble. To make us afraid. Because the Bible says, and you will lie down and no one will make you afraid. I like this. I will remove salvage beasts from the Lord. And the sword will not pass through your country. It is God, the Almighty Father, that has Power. Power to remove every salvage beast. He has the power to remove this coronavirus. He has the power to, to sustain his people. Look at Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 5, the second example. Angalia Zechariah Mbilitano. Where the Bible says, the declaration of the Lord, I will be a wall of fire around it, and I will be the glory within it. And I myself will be a wall of fire allowed it. May the Lord God be a wall of fire allowed your marriage. May the Lord God be a wall of fire allowed your children. May the Lord God be a wall of fire allowed the work of your hand. The Bible says the Lord God blesses the work of your hand and he leads your feet where you flourishes most. I myself will be a wall of fire 
allowed it declares the lord mimi mwenyewe nitakuwa ukuta wa moto kuuzunguka asema bwana and i like this na ninapendezwa na and i will be its glory within nami nitakuwa huo utukufu ndani yake meaning you are surrounded by fire and that fire is Jehovah himself. We are surrounded. That's why we should not fear. Our families are surrounded. Even as we go through this 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 thing of coronavirus. I want to assure you the Lord will continue to surround your businesses. Your farming, your places of work. And we are believing God that we will not see the manifestation of the great depression after this. And even if great depression comes, Paul come and say the promises of God, they are yes and amen. God is not a man that he should lie. No, the son of Adam that he should repent. God is a God who keep covenant. He is a covenant keeping God. His faithfulness is from generation to generation. God is a merciful God. In the book of Isaiah 33 verse 14 to verse 16 the Bible says, and this one is happening to the world today. And this one is happening everywhere. The Bible says, the sinners in Zion are terrified. Trebling grips the godless. Who, or, who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with a fasting burning? He who walks righteously and speaks what is right. Who rejects gain from exhaustion and keeps his heart from accepting bribes? Who stops his ears against plots of murder and shuts his eyes against contemplating evil. Ni yeye anaye dharau faida ipatikanayo kwa dhulma. Akungutaye mikono yake isipokee rushwa. Azibaye masikio yake asisikie habari za damu. Afumbaye macho yake asitazame uovu. It is high time to our communities. Ni wakati mkuu kwa jamii zetu. High time to our nation. It is, it, is, it is time to manifest faithfulness. The Bible says he will dwell on the heart. Height, sorry, he will dwell on the height. His refuge will be the rocky fortresses. His food provided, his water assured. Majabali ni ngome yake, atapewa chakula chake, maji yake hayata koma. Verse 16 again, Aya kumina sita, who, will, who is this who will dwell on the heights? Ni hu, nani huyu atakae kaa juu? Who, who, who is this? Who, will, who The Lord God will be his refuge. Ni nani huyu ya kamba mbana mungu atakua kaa? Who the Lord God will be his fortress. Who the Lord God will be his lock. The Bible says he will dwell on the heights. His refuge will be the rocky fortresses. His food provided. His water assured. We go back to verse 15. The Bible says, The one who lives righteously and speaks rightly. Who refuses gain from exhaustion. Whose heart never takes a bribe. 
who stops his ears from listening to murderous plots and shuts his eyes to avoid endorsing evil. First Peter 3.13 Petro wakwanza tatu kumina tatu. First Peter chapter 3 and first 13. The Bible says, And who will harm you if you are passionate for what is good? Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? In the first letter of Peter, the Bible comes and challenges who will harm you. If you are passionate for what is good, when we are passionate to do what is right, God himself commit himself to protect us. He commit himself to defend us. He commit himself to preserve you. He commit himself to keep you. And the last example is Job chapter 1, verse 9 and 10. This is where God commit himself to preserve, to protect, to defend those who fear him. The Bible says that Job was a righteous man. And he feared God. And the Bible says in Job 1, verse 9, does God does Job fear God for nothing? This is Satan speaking to God about Job. And the That is Satan replying. Have you not put a hedge around him and his household and everything that he has? Wewe huku mzingira kwa ukiko pande zote pamoja na nyumba yake na vitu vyote alivyo navyo You have blessed the work of his hands Kazi za mikono yake umezibarikia So that his flocks and herds are spread throughout the land Nayo mali yake imeongezeka katika nchi Haven't you placed a hedge around Job Si umemzingira kwa ukiko pande zote His household and everything that he owns, you have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions are spread out in the land. But let me assure you, my brothers and sisters, God had committed himself to protect Job. God had committed himself to preserve Job. God committed himself to defend Job. The same, the same I want to assure you, even in this season, because, because God remained the same yesterday, Today and forevermore. Our God, He does not change. He has committed Himself to keep you. He has committed Himself to put a hedge around you. God has committed himself. God is a good God. I like what one man of God said that God is a good God. I think this is Oro Robert and the devil is a bad devil. The devil is a bad devil and God is a good God. He came to challenge God about Job. 
Weza kujaribu mungu kuhusu but ayubi. God had committed himself Lakini mungu to, to protect Job and also to protect his endeavors. Na pia kulinda kazi za mikono yake. Very quickly, Kwa sana, let me give you keys to define protection. Wacha ni ufunguo wa na mungu. And one major key to define protection na ufunguo moja wa na mungu. is dedication. Ni kujitoa. Dedicating yourself to God. Kujitoa kwa kia mungu. Marakai 3.17 as I come to finish, the Bible says they will be mine, says the Almighty God. They will be mine, says the Lord of hosts. A special possession on the day I am preparing. I will have compassion on them as a man has compassion on his son who serves him. Nami nitawachilia kama vile mtu amwachilia vyo mwanae mwenye amtumikiae. I will have compassion nitawahurumia on them as a man has compassion on his son who serves him. Nitawahurumia kama vile mtu anavyo hurumia mwanae Another translation put it like this, I will spare them. It is God who keeps his people. The Lord will spare our communities. If we will dedicate ourselves to him. If we will dedicate ourselves to serving him. If we will dedicate ourselves to fearing him. Then he come and say, I will spare them. Just as in compassion a man spares his son who serves him. Another very important key to define protection is liberation. When we are, I'm talking about liberation, I'm talking about insight. Look at John chapter 1 and verse 5. And I mentioned this scripture last week. The Bible says the light shines in the darkness. Yet the darkness did not overcome it. Another translation that is NIV put it like this. The light shines in the darkness. But the darkness has not understood it. In one month, two months, there has been a dark crowd all over or across the group. Death everywhere. Dark crowd. A dark blanket covering the earth. But as a servant of God, as a prophet of God, I declare this. The Bible says that that light shines in the darkness. Yet the darkness did not overcome it. Darkness Giza cannot comprehend the light of God. When, you know, light come with insights. Light come with liberation. Where there is liberation, powers of darkness, they are defeated. The Bible says in John 8 and verse 32, then you will know the truth. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I like adding this. 
And it is only wisdom that can keep you in freedom. Even as we have been sanitizing ourselves, uh, washing our hands, keeping distance, uh, sometimes locking ourselves in our homes because of what is happening. It's good to walk in revelations of the word of God. It's good to walk in, in insights that come from the truth. And the Bible says you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. And this truth will give you wisdom. And this wisdom will keep you in freedom. And the last key to define protection is the key of conviction. Conviction. It's where you have great conviction in your spirit. Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 20. Daniel And here we see about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The Bible says Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, we don't need to give you an answer to this question. We do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blessing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it. And he will rescue us from your hard O king. I know and we, are, we have conviction in our heart that the Lord will rescue our communities from this scourge, from this break. I have a deep conviction that we are going through this thing. The other day we said we don't fight our battles from the point of defeat. We fight our battles from the point of victory. And that is the conviction that we have. First 28, the Bible say in Daniel chapter 3. First 28, Daniel chapter 3. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Place be to the God of Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servant. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Conviction, Conviction is a, is, a, is a key to define protection. It's where you are convicted in your heart that whatever is happening, whatever the enemy is manifesting, that you are not going to die. You will live so that you can declare the glory of God. And I prophesy and I declare that the Lord will manifest the blessing of longevity upon your life. Don't give fear in the praise. Don't be discouraged. Don't give up. 
Don't let it go. In Jesus' name. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Continue to put your faith in God's faith. Even after we go through this, we will see God manifesting his greatness manifesting his faithfulness and taking us to higher heights in life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed when you come and you are blessed when you go. May God bless the work of your hands. May he lead your feet where you flourish most. May the light of his face shine on your ways. May the blessing in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 14 Lest on your head. May God separate you from all the curses from verse 15 to verse 68 of Deuteronomy 28. In Jesus' name, your family is blessed. Your marriage is blessed. The work of your heart is blessed. Your children are blessed. And the church is blessed. The church is built on the rock. The gates of hell shall not prevail against this place. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Oh, 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 oh,